Hi guys, I'm Jess and today I have in my possession the Fearsome Fairy Tales Outcrate box and I think it's time to unwrap it. So the first thing that I'm getting out of the box is the spoiler card. Um, we've got a lovely kind of mirror mirror um, artwork going on here and I'm not going to pay attention to any of the spoiler card so that I can be nice and surprised when I go in here. It looks like we've got something interesting. Next thing that's sitting on top is the badge with the artwork that's dedicated to each individual month. Next thing is I've got this interesting little owl crate themed box and on the back it says the world is full of magic things patiently waiting for your senses to grow sharper by WB Yeats and it says wax burner designed by owl crate so I don't know what a wax burner is. This is very, very, very cute. So what we've got here is a wax burner with a couple of stars and moons on the back. And it looks like what you do is you insert a tea light here and a kind of daub of wax or it says um, maybe um, some sort of um, oil in the top here that is scented and um, it will scent up your room nice and lovely. I don't think I've ever had anything quite so delicate or unique in a box, this is a really really lovely idea. And then it looks like we have to go with that by Spireside Candles, um, Hansel and Gretel. Uh, these are wax cubes to go in the top of the burner and it says that these are gingerbread scented. Next I'm seeing this little kind of bracelet that's got an excerpt from a book, Rapunzel Let Down Your Hair um, by Authored Adornments. Apparently these are handmade so this is really really pretty and intricate and I think this should fit around my wrists. So one of the spoilers we got was that there would be a pillowcase in here which is what I'm just unwrapping now and it's I didn't read much too much into it I thought it would just be a kind of square kind of cushion thing but this is actually a proper proper pillowcase for your bed and it's got once upon a train um, in a lovely lovely midnight scene with a nice yellow moon and the twigs and a lovely yellow, um, white border and font and a city in the background with um, with lights coming out from um, windows that look rather a lot like eyes which is quite creepy. It doesn't quite go with any of my bedspreads but I'll incorporate it. Next what I'm seeing is a little piece of artwork. Uh, now that is Red Rising and that is really 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 cool. I absolutely love the size of the wolf in there. The greens are absolutely gorgeous. I really like all of the angles. It's very very angular and like kind of textured how this is done. It's really really pretty. Next what we've got is kind of our interviews and um, I think there was a word search in here and a little sneak peek of what's to come in next month's box. Now of course I'm to the book and I knew this book would be coming out. It was very very obvious because I think they said in one of their uh, Instagram posts that the author has been dubbed the Queen of Fairy at points which of course means it's going to be Holly Black and it's going to be the Cruel Prince and I'm fairly sure that Fairy Lou are also going to be doing the Cruel Prince for um, for January. Um, I did already pre-order a book from Waterstones, I've already got it so I'm not too fussed about this because I know that Owlcrate do their exclusive covers and looking at it this is the furthest from the original cover that our crate could have gone and it's the biggest change that I've seen them do yet so so this is the cruel prince by Holly Black and this cover is so incredibly different from the original um, it's absolutely lovely I was thinking to myself when I got the white cover that I was really disappointed that it doesn't have any of the purple that the arcs in the UK did. I was quite disappointed. I think purple is a lovely colour um, to kind of have. But purple has been incorporated in here. It's in the background. I love the crown. This wizard little throne. Absolutely lovely. I like the font and the colour that they've chosen. I really, really, really like how different this is. I think this is a real step up in the game by our crate for their book changes. 
really really excellent i hope this means good things of like big changes like this will come in the future because i think this makes them far far more collectible on a note of different editions, I didn't actually realise that Barnes & Noble were going to have a black edition which is much much nicer than the white edition and I'm really really annoyed that I missed it, they're already completely sold out. So along with the book we've of course got a note from the author and sharpen your blade, harden your heart on the back here. And you can see, oh, I mean, black works really nice with the twigs and everything. But yeah, I'm going to really really quickly read this for you because I know a lot of people don't get a chance to kind of see what is written if you don't actually get the box. So. Dear lovely Our Crate readers, I love changeling stories. In Cruel Prince, Jude, a human being raised in fairy by the guy who murdered her parents, is kind of a reverse changeling. She's not bound by the same rules as the fairies all around her. She's not a magical being who will live forever. She doesn't smell like crushed verbena. verbena? I, don't, I, I don't know what she's saying there. And she doesn't really have a position in the court of the High King of Elfham. Again, I don't know what this word is. I haven't read any of her other books, so maybe they come up several times in there. What she does have is two sisters, a bad attitude and a simmering hatred for the youngest Prince of Fairy. Cruel Prince is kind of about moving and the trauma of new schools. It's kind of about dads and daughters and about becoming what we're most afraid of. It's about what makes a family, how we define ourselves, how we survive, and it's also a story about princes and plots and court intrigue and strategy and sword fighting. I think it's my favourite thing I've ever written, and I am so excited to share it with you. Kiss kiss, XOXO, and signed by Holly Black. That's really, really lovely letter. I don't always fully read these until I've kind of read the book, but I think I need to start reading these out to you so that you can all experience what we are getting in this outbreak box. We have this little sticker, there's always something left to lose and that is a proper sticker, really nicely printed, it's two pieces, it looks a bit like it's folded because it's got two pieces running across it. And as I did not mention there is no book plate in here because it is actually signed straight to the book by Holly Black on the very first page right here which is of course really really exciting so they've really hugely stepped up their game in our crate um, for this month I don't know what they did last month I didn't get the box um, but they have got a completely different cover to the original and the book is physically signed rather than a plate which you're just going to stick in which makes it worth so much more look at the underneath of that Oh my goodness, that is absolutely beautiful. I haven't had a look at the underneath of the original cover. I don't know if it's also like this, but that's absolutely wonderful. I hope that gives you guys an insight on what our crate is like to subscribe to, what kind of items you might be lucky enough to get. Our crate are very easy to subscribe slash unsubscribe to. You can go in and out as I do through the year when a good theme comes up that you think you'll be um, really into and interested in. I hope the rest of you that subscribe to our crate receive your boxes in perfect condition and I hope that any of you that don't get the opportunity to subscribe to at least one book box over the course of this year because they are really really lovely to unpack. Thank you so much for watching, bye!